special remembrance of this mass is the request for Gloria Lemaitre. Please rise and sing our entrance hymn.
reading the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard the quality of God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness and found human appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every other name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God.
Surely it is the nine. He said to them, One of the twelve, the one who dips with me into the dish, for the Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. While they were eating, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them and said, Take it, this is my body. Then he took a cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, and they all drank from it. He said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed for many. Amen, I say to you, I shall not drink again the fruit of the body until the day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Then, after singing a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, all of you will have your faith shaken. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be dispersed. But after I have been raised up, I shall go before you to Galilee. Peter said to him, Even though all of you should have your faith shaken, mine will not be. Then Jesus said to him, Amen, I say to you, This very night before the cock grows twice, you will deny me three times. But he vehemently replied, Even though I should have to die with you, I will not deny you. And they all spoke similarly. Then they came to a place named Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter, James, and John, and began to be troubled and distressed. Then he said to them, My soul is sorrowful even to death. Remain here and keep watch. He advanced a little and fell to the ground and prayed that it were possible the outer light passed by him. He said, Abba, Father, all things are possible to you. Take this cup away from me, but not what I want, but what you want. When he returned, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not keep watch for one hour? Watch and pray that you might not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Withdrawing again, he prayed, saying the same thing. Then he returned once more and found them asleep, for they could not keep their eyes open and did not know what to answer them. He returned a third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? It is enough. The hour has come. Behold, the Son of Man is to be handed over to sinners. Get up, let us go. See, my betrayer is at hand. Then, while he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, accompanied by a crowd with swords and clubs, who had come from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. His betrayer had arranged a signal with them, saying, the man I shall kiss is the one, arrest him, and lead him away with security. He came and immediately went over to him and said, Rabbi, and he kissed him. At this they laid on hands on him and arrested him. One of the bystanders drew his sword, struck the high priest's servant, and cut off his ear. Jesus said to them in reply, Have you come out as against a robber? With swords and clubs to seize me. Day after day I was with you, teaching in the temple area, yet you did not arrest me, but that the scriptures may be fulfilled. And they all left him and fled. Now a young man followed him, wearing nothing but a linen cloth about his body. They seized him, but he left the cloth behind and ran off naked. They led Jesus away to the high priest. And all the chief priests and the elders and the scribes came together. Peter followed him at a distance into the high priest's courtyard and was seated with the guards, warming himself at the fire. The chief priests and the entire Sanhedrin kept trying to obtain testimony against Jesus in order to put him to death, but they found none. Many gave false witness against him, but their testimony did not agree. Some took the stand and testified falsely against him, alleging, He 
Even so, their testimony did not agree. The high priest rose before the assembly and questioned Jesus, saying, Have you no answer? What are these men testifying against you? But he was silent and answered nothing. Again, the high priest asked him and said to him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One? Then Jesus answered, I am. And you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. At that, the high priest tore his garments and said, What further need have we of witnesses? You have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? And they all condemned him as deserving to die. Some began to spit on him. They blindfolded him and struck him and said to him, And the guards greeted him with blows. While Peter was below the courtyard, one of the high priest's maids came along. Seeing Peter warming himself, she looked intently at him and said, But he denied it, saying, I neither know nor understand what you were talking about. So he went out into the outer court. Then the coat crowed, then the cock crowed. The maid saw him again and began again to say to the bystanders, Once again he denied it. A little later, the bystanders said to Peter once more,
Those passing by revived them, shaking their heads and saying,
because indeed we are not always of a stable disposition. We have ups and downs in our life of grace with Jesus Christ. There are times when we are very close to do Him honor, treating Him as our God and King. And there are times too when we reject or turn away. We cause harm to what He loves in sin. But we are mindful today of those resolute and purposeful, difficult steps our Lord takes to go to his cross. He knows how bad it can get. Sin and death, an unjust condemnation, and his execution represent an are, in fact, as bad as it can get. But yet he still goes. He goes to forgive the sins because our Lord, in his perfect knowledge of us as our Creator, sees the good that is still there. We are not without hope because God is still walking that path. We are invited to follow along with him and acknowledge our need down to our roots, a truly radical need of him, of his grace and salvation. And so we embrace them this holy week, as from this point until leading to Good Friday, our Lord makes this path in our hearts and minds again. As we get to that day, we call good from all appearances, it would not look that way. But because we who have received a testimony of love and sacrifice that brings us grace, it becomes the cornerstone of our own identity. As we meditate today, think of those steps into Jerusalem. The steps that carried him in that and his holy sin, and leading himself to the sacrifice he would make on the cross. Reminding ourselves that each of us is carried within his sacred heart that was pierced in the lance, and knowing that he sees within us the goodness that he has made, those he loves, and those he wishes to redeem.
one of us gathered here today, may God lead us in this season of Lent to repentance and conversion. We pray to the Lord. For all who have died, especially Grace Sigma, may they know eternal peace and joy in the kingdom of heaven, and for Gloria and nature, who remember at this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Father, we humbly ask you to hear the prayers we offer you on this day, through your Son, Jesus Christ. desire. 
desire to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread. And giving them thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up. Thank you. 
Let us pray. Nourish with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son, you have brought us to hope for what we believe. So by his resurrection, you may lead us to where we come. Christ our Lord. Amen. Such a wonderful time, a holy time for our parish, gathering around this holy altar and coming to this holy place, which is our home. I've been smiling because I got to meet some people for the very first time that have been uh, unable to come until quite recently and have chosen Holy Week is the perfect time. So if you happen to be in that situation, it's so good to see you. Uh, and I, Really, it's it brings so much great energy. One of the positives of this has been that the uh, confession lines have been very long, and so if anyone was put off by like that um, and able to uh, avail yourself of that after Mass today, immediately I'll go into the confession uh, to get all remain as long as it is necessary uh, for anyone who would like to go to confession today. And then on Tuesday evening, we also have starting at 5.15. We'll be here in confessions that evening as well. And so again, it's a great time for Holy Week as we follow this path of our Lord through His death and then to His glorious resurrection one week today. So thank you all for, for being here. Please know the palms are blessed. You're welcome to have them. But since it's the last Mass, I guess you can take as many as you like. And um, it's thank you to our altar servers, too. It's nice to have a crowd here uh, and bringing us together to celebrate this great and powerful season. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. Look, we pray, O Lord, on this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ did not hesitate to be delivered into the hands of the wicked and submit to the agony of the cross. Now lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us and God. Be our God.